having a lot of applications in the areas of in the areas of finance or any analytics or even the risk management areas so you can very well uh, think through various applications of this concept of the mathematical word called risk manage uh, differentiation so just to provide uh, an in depth understanding of this concept we are trying to uh, we are trying to provide a few uh, basic concepts of differentiation and uh, some of the applications where differentiation can be used now first of all to understand differentiation to the core what do we mean by differentiation why do we need to do some amount of differentiation so as an understanding if i want to talk about differentiation it is primarily trying to understand the rate of change of a value with respect to the other so if suppose there is a relationship between x and y if x x changes by certain extent either increases or decreases how is y impacted what is the rate at which y either increases or decreases if x changes by some factor that is the purpose of using differentiation and x and y can be related by any kind of relation probably i may have the relationship between x and y as y equal to some form of f of x so it could be like y equal to 2x plus 3 which is a linear relation or i can have y equal to x squared plus 4x plus 7 which is a quadratic relation or i can have y is equal to log x plus x squared which is uh, a mix of logarithmic as well as uh, quadratic relation so i can very well think of various forms of relationship with respect to x and y now in this case all i want to know is if x changes by one unit by what extent does y change that is what is our concept of differentiation so it's simply writing it as dy by dx which says at what rate does y change when x changes so there are uh, some uh, formal ways of trying to find out or calculate this value for example where any of these things if i try to draw a graph for this let's say y equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3 again any any particular equation it has some kind of a graph let me assume that this is a graph of course may may or may not be resembling this but any any equation can very well be put in the form of a graph now what we are saying is let's say this is x this is x1 this is x2 now what we are saying is if x has changed from here to here y has in fact fallen from here to here and that particular fall is what we are considering as the derivative of this equation the derivative of this equation with respect to x is because the x has changed by this much what is the extent by which y is changing either increased or decreased so it has a lot of applications across various uh, uh, industries and businesses because all we are doing in this pattern is trying to understand how one variable is going to change with respect to the other variable
So, how do we find out this value dy by dx? The, the classical form of it actually boils down to the concept called limits. What is the limit? Every expression has a limiting value at a particular point. So, for example, if I say, what is the limit as x is more or less equal to 0, what is the limiting value for x squared plus 4x plus 7? Which means, if x keeps approaching 0, where can it approach from? It can come from minus 